What's up? Ding Dongers, welcome to Ding. The name this channel has always gone by. It has never been called anything that might not be considered brand friendly or might possibly lead to demonetization. Today, things are gonna get a bit rotatey. Welcome to Michael's Toys. Today's toy is Topsy Turvy, a mechanism invented and designed by Lee Krasno. I have been following him on Instagram for a long time and I love so much of what he and Pacific Puzzle Works puts out there. Lee is a famous puzzle maker, but Topsy Turvy is not a puzzle, no, no, no. Before I say more though, let's just take a look at what it does. Now the first thing I'm going to do is fold some of the petals on the bottom closed and lock in a smaller top close the rest of the petals, and now the big top is ready. I'll wrap a string around and 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 around until I have just enough left to wrap around my fingers so that when I pull, the top spins. All right, now we've all seen tops before, but what makes Topsy Turvy different is that it tops and turves. Let's talk about the petals. Now the deployment mechanism looks like it might involve springs, but there are no springs powering the petals themselves. They explode open purely under their own inertia. This effect of inertia is often referred to as a centrifugal force. But of course, as we know, centrifugal forces are fictitious. I talk about this a little bit in my video, Spinning, which if you haven't watched yet, you definitely should check out. When you're in a car and the car suddenly turns, it can often feel as though your body is being pushed outward, radially from the center of the car's rotation. However, all that's really happening is the car is turning, but your body is continuing to move in a straight line. The car blocks that path, which across short time and space intervals can feel like you're being pushed outward, but really, you're just continuing to move straight ahead. Now, the same principle is what causes the pedals to open up. But once they've opened up, the little top they used to be holding is free, and there's nothing to slow it down. It's not connected to my hand or to the rest of the top that's being braked, and so it keeps spinning, and it can fall onto a little platform and continue its dance. Let's watch this again in slow motion. All right, now there's a bit of a trick to making this work. Can I do it? Whoa! Hey, I mean, it's still spinning. I don't know if, if, oh yeah, it's in the frame. So there's a bit of a trick to it. I think that sometimes it's better to let the big top itself slow down due to friction and air resistance a little bit before you open it because otherwise it has so much momentum that it'll, your hands can't control it and the top can fly off like that. But it's a pretty sturdy little dude. Let me um, try this one more time. And I'll let it spin on the table. When I say it, I mean the big top. I'll let it spin for a little longer, lose a little bit of speed, and then I'll invert it and deploy the little top. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Slow motion. Take two. Turvy is available from Pacific Puzzle Works as a set of STL files if you have a 3D printer and want to make it yourself. You can also just order the hardware needed. You can also order just the pieces needed and build it yourself, or you can do what I did. You can order it fully assembled because I am lazy and impatient. When the package, including Topsy Turvy, arrived, I also got this free 
other puzzle that I don't even know the name of. I looked on their site and I could not find it. It looks like the Starburst puzzle that they sell, uh, but the pieces this breaks into are all different. That's right, it breaks into pieces. Right now we've got a very cool little stellated geometric figure, but, whoa! It is made of six identical pieces, kind of like little boat shapes with some notches in them. The actual way the pieces come back together into that original shape is not very hard to see. Um, so what's funny is that the puzzle winds up being, how do you fit the last piece in? Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is not a spoiler for the puzzle. If I take the gold piece like this and I attach two little silver pieces on either side like that and like that, as you can see, we're building from below. You can see that we're building up that stellated figure we had before. And then I can take something like another gold and slip it right in there. Perfect. And then I can move the silvers down to make room for one of these brown pieces. I guess it's actually copper. And move the silvers back up, and I'm almost done. The puzzle, <laughs> it's a bit of a dexterity puzzle too, but the puzzle becomes, once you've got the uh, five of the six together, which is not too hard to do because you can slide pieces in and out, how do you get the final sixth piece in. Obviously this piece, this gold piece, goes on the other side of that gold piece over here, but how do I fit it in? That is the true puzzle, and I figured it out. And I'm about to do it right now, but there won't be any spoilers. Ta-da! Uh... Genius alert! Just kidding, anyone can do this and everyone should try this. Give yourself challenges and puzzles every day. Stay curious. And as always, 